Hello and welcome. Lynette Brown here, co-author of You Don't Look Psychic. And welcome to Mystical Monday. Mondays used to be for me one of those days. It's like, oh, you got it. It's Monday, right? The start of my week, especially when I was in the, the legal world or not following my purpose, basically. So I just mystically, let's talk about intuition. And I know I feel like everybody has a basis of like what intuition is. Well, let's talk about what it isn't. How about that? It, intuition isn't positive thinking. It isn't affirmations. While, you know, affirmations are powerful. Intuition isn't affirmations. It isn't visualization. While visualization is a great tool to utilize in creating and um, bringing things into form. Um, that's not what intuition is. Intuition is when we receive a nudge, guidance, or wisdom that we had no way of knowing. It's that little pull that says, go over there, call friend, right? It's subtle, it's subtle, and I think that's why we miss it so often you know when our regular our, our lives are busy the world is noisy it's loud it's it's bright there's lights everywhere we don't get into the space of the subtleties and that's where intuition is so one of the biggest things that we can do to utilize and access that voice that aspect of us that has the divine wisdom is through our breath just <sighs> taking deep breaths in, relaxing our body and noticing what comes up. How often do you pay attention to your body during the day? How often do you notice your breath? You know, I know when I began this work, I didn't. I was all go, 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 do, 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 right? Make it happen, make it happen. You know, you're a single mom. You, you know, got to provide. You know, we all do. And especially with what's going on in our world. And despite the chaos and uncertainty that will always be a part of living. Always. You can't have one side without the other right and it's acknowledging that we are the creators and through our breath we can calm ourselves we can relax and be present and hear that little gentle wave the subtlety that divine guidance that's speaking to us so this week in being mystical with yourself when bringing in the energy of intuition, of your inner voice, of your divine guidance, consider breath as part of that, right? With that breath, what's so important is a lot of times we get frightened about accessing our intuition, about opening that door. You know, we're gonna see something scary, we're gonna find out something we don't wanna know. And just so you know, that's not going to happen. You will receive the guidance and the information in the best way that you can receive it. In the way that you can integrate it. And it won't be like the scary movies of Hollywood. It won't be the things that go bump in the night. Right? And as we evolve and grow with our intuition and our ability to connect and communicate, you know, you'll understand that there's different layers and levels and aspects of intuition. You know, there's the psychic, which we're all born psychic. We all have this innate knowing within us. And if we just shoot from the hip from that, that's what we'll receive. But usually it's processed through our wound, 
our, our childhood traumas and things that didn't work. An intuitive, a trained intuitive, an intuitive to me is someone who's trained and done the work, not just their inner work, but the work in connecting with their wounds as they, they help others. In other words, the guidance they receive is so much um, more expansive because it's not filtered through their personal traumas, through their personal dramas and their wounds because an intuitive can hold the, the energy of their past and of the things that they may be still working on because they're trained, because they practice, because they realize the service, right? So those are my, my delineations, right? Um, you know, there's also mediums and all mediums are psychic, but not all psychics are mediums. And mediums are those who tune in to the energy and the communications of deceased loved ones, right? They hold that channel longer, right? And then there's the mystics, the mystics. The mystics are those who do their best, who practice and they live and breathe and eat this work. They, they know that everything is connected and they're not, they, they're, their mastery is in the energy of not only support and being there for others, but also in holding their own stuff, right? They can see the divine, they can see the connection of the universe of the oneness, the universal law of oneness. They can see all the universal laws in motion, interacting with their moment to moment life. So you get to pick, you know, what, what level do you wanna practice? What level do you wanna experience? You already have the psychic space. You might not be practicing or listening to the subtleties yet, but if you want that, all you need to do is stop, get quiet, and breathe. Quiet, quiet those inner voices so that you can hear the divine within you. Have a great mystical Monday. And if you're not having a great day, I'm sending you love. If you're feeling the chaos and the irritation, I get it. I feel it too. And just know that you're not alone in this. We're in this together. Have a great week. I'll see you next Monday.